I am the FAL guy and today I'm going to show you the Halbeck device. The Halbeck device was manufactured in the mid-70s in Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. Its aim was that it deflects the muzzle climb of the FAL rifle. cartridge we're going to shoot today is a 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO or commonly known as 308. It is a 150 grain full metal jacket boat tail bullet tip with a 43 grain powder lock. And this ladies and gentlemen is the famous Halbeck device. It consists of a hull that slides over the muzzle brake of this little knob that goes into one of the little holes on the muzzle de brake and this little spring that clips on over the barrel. And that's it. It is so simple, so easy, yet effective. And I'll show you why that is. Let's mount the Halbeck device. Since I'm a right-handed shooter, I put it over the muzzle brake just like that. I make sure that the holes align with the Halbeck device and then clip it in on this side. And now it is mounted for a right-handed shooter. All right, we have gone over the Halbeck device. We looked at the ammo we're gonna use. We looked at the rifle. So let's start shooting and see how it performs and if it's worth it or not. Let's compare some side-by-side -side footage of an FAL running the Halbeck device and of one FAL not running the Halbeck device. As you can see, the FAL with the Halbeck device had less of a muzzle climb as the FAL without the Halbeck device. Now keep in mind, I was firing rapidly. If you are more of a precision shooter, the Halbeck device does not do much. So a few thoughts about the Halbeck device. If you are more into a tactical shooting style, fast paced style, this device is beneficial for your FAL. It reduces muzzle climb and it helps you to stay on target. Now, if you're more into long range shooting, into taking your time and putting a well-placed shot on target, this device doesn't do much. And if you like Rhodesian history, and if you want to have a piece of that country, then get one of these devices. Otherwise, leave it. If you're gonna be like, well, it doesn't really benefit me, and I can't see myself doing like, I don't know, fast paced shooting styles and whatnot, don't get it. It doesn't really help you. But it's a piece of history, and it also makes your FBL look really cool. So personally, I love it. I'm more into tactical, fast-paced shooting, and I see myself doing shooting matches, three-gun, two-gun, tactical shooting trainings and whatnot with the Halbeck device on my F FAL. It will reduce the muzzle climb, it helps me stay on target, and that's what I want. So I hope you enjoy this little video about the history and application of the Halbeck device and how it works. And if you like it, Click like, click subscribe to my channel, hit the comment section, comment on it, see what, or say what you want to see next time. Let me know if you liked it or not. And I'm looking forward to seeing you around when I release the next video. We will most likely look at different FAL mags or might even look at 30 round mags since they are kind of unique and they are cool. And yeah, so, Thank you very much. Bye a donkey, dotsins and lekker dag.